Now, a whistleblower system is to be set up in Tobago. Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly, Fadi Agustin, said while the government works towards developing the legislation for the country, a regime is being set up in Tobago through the proposal for the establishment of a core council of seven persons. A trained investigator, someone who either retired or is active in service in the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, a certified auditor or financial analyst, an attorney, an experienced attorney of law, a member of the clergy, and any other three. And that this council be furnished with a web-based software to allow people to anonymously, to secretly submit any claims and accompanying documentary evidence. Following the Chief Secretary's statements, Minority Leader Kelvin Morris questioned what he called administrative lapses. Based on the findings, um, there seem to be some uh, insinuation that there are some procedural administrative steps lapses. What is this current administration going to do to ensure uh, that going forward we are in a position to not be in this place where there are reasons to question the process. Meanwhile, political leader of the People's National Movement Tobago Council, Ansel Dennis, has described Chief Secretary's audit statements as hypocritical, vague, and malicious. At a press conference on Friday, Mr. Dennis said he had not yet received a copy of the document. However, responding to claims of payments for incomplete works, Mr. Dennis, who led the Tobago House of Assembly executive during the period in question, said Mr. Augustine's statements are difficult to believe. I find that very difficult to believe with all the checks and balances. Again, the politician is not responsible for engaging in, in, in payments and the validation of projects and issuing completion certificates. But I would hope and believe that based on the democracy and the bureaucracy that we have and based on all the existing checks and balances, it should be very difficult or almost impossible to pay for a whole road that was never done. I find that a bit difficult to accept and I'm asking the Chief Secretary to name the roads.